Alright, Super Mario Bros. 2 Japanese version, or last level. Let's tackle you! Whenever I can press the freaking button, because apparently it doesn't let me right now, come on. Oh, start. Fucking... Always forget about that. So, yeah, let's start a new file. For some reason, you can select between Mario and Luigi. Uh, there, uh, in this game, there, they have a little differences. If I remember correctly, Mario is like... He jumps normally, and he... Uh, um, well, it's pretty much Mario. But, if you select Luigi, he jumps higher, but he slides like fuck. And... I feel, I feel like I don't have enough difficulty in this game yet, so let's just play as Luigi. <laughs> which is gonna be, which is gonna be a terrible idea. Because like I said, Luigi jumps higher but he slides like crazy and that's not good if you want to stop uh, before uh, landing to a hole. Oh yeah, and also poison mushroom in this game. Uh, they hit you, they damage you, so uh, yeah, careful with that. And also, yeah, Luigi jumps much higher, so I don't know if it makes the, the, the game easier or harder because of that. But yeah, because of his sliding uh, randomness, this makes it a little more difficult to control than uh, Mario. But when there's a couple of big, big jumps, he actually makes them pretty well. So hopefully it's not gonna be too hard. This is just the first level. Already you can see it, it was much harder than the than the original. So anyway, Luigi wins. This is 1-1 of last level, and then we get into World 1-2. First cave, just like the original, except now it's there's a, already a big hole at the beginning. And already when you're big, the use of crouching to get under certain blocks, which later on become kind of a pain. For some reason, in this stage, instead of having uh, the, the warp 2, 3, and 4 at the end of level, this time, you take the vine to reach the warp to, uh, well, 3. You go at the end of level to reach the warp, uh, the warp to well 2. And there's a pipe you can take that leads you to the Warped World 4. Uh, but that specific bonus uh, bonus level thing, kind of difficult to reach. Well, I mean, kind of difficult to go through because there's like one of those uh, brick, uh, small brick uh, passage that, and there's lava below, so it's not exactly a good idea. And anyway, I'm gonna play all the levels, so I'm not gonna show these parts anyway. For some reason, I don't know why the pipe here is much farther than it is in the original Super Mario Bros. It, it, what? Uh, did, did people... Uh, was that why I didn't think that the pirate plan behind when you, uh, when you just leave could actually kill you if you just accidentally go back on it or something? So I decided, no, we're just gonna move it back a little more so it doesn't happen. Alright, one tree. Oh. I played this game a little while ago, but but I used save state, so it was pretty basically sort of easy. Even though at some point it was hard, even with save state. And this game, unlike Super Mario Bros, if you game over, you restart at the level. You restart at the beginning of level, but you restart at the same level you died in. So I guess that's something. Unlike the original Super Mario Bros. 2 Japanese version, where if you would game, get a game over and only have 3 lives by the way, you would have to restart the entire game, which is already pretty darn hard in itself. Alright. So right now we're in the first castle of last level, and... I forgot what... To Expect and Slippy Luigi is not gonna be very good for handling jumps like these, especially the very tiny one. 
And here's a fire flower that's easy to get if you have Luigi. Um, and if you had Mario, it would be a tiny little harder. And there's normal enemies in, in these places for some reason. Uh, they're, they're not all trapped in World 8-4. This time they're, they're actually uh, more in the castles themselves before. Okay, uh, I have a fire flower when I'm not using it. Take that, Goomba! And so the level ends, with World 1 over and this Toad getting out of the uh, sack, I, I don't know. So now it's night time! And I already it took a hit for no reason, because why the hell not? Oh yeah, just as, a, just as an information, in case you weren't aware of it, but yeah. Don't jump in the water, you're not gonna swim in it, because for some reason in this game you can't swim, and that's some pretty strange cutoff right there. Yeah, cutoff in an original Mario game, what the hell. And the green spring lets you jump so damn high that you eventually go back down, but it takes a while, and yeah, sometimes you might not exactly know where you're gonna land, so... Uh, I want to be careful all right, with that. Because it can kill you. Or damage you like that. Uh, Luigi jumps pretty darn high, so he can probably jump over the pole every level. Well, maybe not every level, but most of them. Okay, I, if I remember, this is another one of those going straight forward level with a bunch of enemies. Because even last level ha has those level. For some reason, which I don't understand. Alright, um, now I wish I had a power up so I could like take a hit or something. Because I'm not very good at avoiding stuff uh, in uh, Mario, in case you didn't notice already. And especially with Luigi, which slides a lot. And jumps so high that he knocks his head on the block and uh, makes me lose my mem my momentum and distract me or something. I died in 2-2! Two, two. That's not good. Come on. I expect better from myself in this game. Maybe I should have taken Mario. Not that, uh, not that I don't like the sliding, well, I don't like it, but it's like, maybe the jumps are a little harder with Mario, I don't know, or maybe they're easier, I'm not sure, because high jumps like that is can kind of screw you over sometime, so I'm not gonna chance it, screw this block, I'm going in the next areas. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, well, not you. Alright, the first instance of having to use invisible coin block to climb on them and having to continue the level because otherwise it's just a big hole and you can't pass over it. At least I'm pretty sure you can't because there's that as well which does not help things. Whoa! For some reason there's a block while climbing this end of level which just might give you trouble, I don't know. And now it's nighttime bridge. I don't remember if there's. Yeah, there's fish. Okay. Ow! They actually hit me this time. What the hell? Uh, any mushroom somewhere that I can grab? That'd be nice. And yeah, as you can see, bloopers. Over the water this time. So you can kill them. And see how weird the animation become. Except not really, because you can just kill them in the original game with fireballs, and they just do that as well. And I completely missed that end. Oh wow. Alright, 2-4. Um, I don't remember much about it. Oh, well, I guess there's this thing at the beginning. In which I am not trusting the ability of Luigi at all. Because it's pretty easy to fall in that lava, for some odd reason. Especially if you're Luigi, I guess. Or tall. 
Especially tall. Oh, yeah, this kind of thing. Where. It's it kind of luck based, sort of. It's like, you go at the right time or not, and. <laughs> yeah, already the castles are much harder than the originals, which is not a good sign. And there's blocks in front of me, so I can just jump over stuff. I have to actually wait for Buster to jump over me. So that ends 2 4, and now we introduce 2 3 1, which is. Hammer Brothers already, and. Oh, hey, a star right at the right spot, but I get killed by it anyway. Also, this level has a very, very stupid warp. And I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to show it to you or if I'm going to skip on it, but anyway. Uh, I think we can easily reach it by going into this pipe, but it sounds, sounds like a pain, so I'm just going to go to the other way to actually reach the warp. Or do I even need to show it? Maybe I'm gonna do it by accident, who knows. Yeah! Okay. So, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm gonna probably gonna have to restart the level, but yeah. If you overshoot this, the level keeps going. And normally, if you went into a bonus, you, you go in this pipe. So this is the one that leads you to World 1! Why would you even want to go there? So even They even put a hole here to just kill yourself if you want to. So anyway, let's just get back to this level and yeah, finish it like uh, the, the way it's supposed to be. Instead of just overshooting and being an idiot. Well, I guess this springboard does not help because it's like, yeah, I'm gonna take it and oh boy, I overshot and now I'm gonna be warped to world one or just kill myself with losing a life and stuff. No, I'm just gonna finish level and yay, first time the water level of the game, which is tree two. I know some of the levels in this game do get reused at some point, but I don't exactly know which one do. Well, not all of them, I mean. I know some of them, but not all of them. So, now I'm trying to avoid a fish, but it's not helping with the blooper in the way. I, I went down too much. Well, look at that, one life remaining. I'm probably already gonna get a game over. In World Tree. Not like it matters, because I'm gonna restart in this stage anyway. Come on. A little help, maybe? Yeah, there's a bunch of enemies as well that you might want to try to avoid because, uh, yeah, any of those enemies you hit are gonna kill you. At least I'm pretty sure. I mean, the Koopas, you, you can't kill them under the water because, I, I don't know, they're immune to you or something. Or just because magic underwater, I don't know. Alright. Tree tree, um, what about this level? I don't know really, it's just a level with a bunch of Koopas and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's also waterfall in the background like usual. Oh, and green springboard, because why the fuck not? This is probably going to kill me now. Oh, maybe not. Now for some reason, lag, which is absolutely not needed. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I miss that Koopa. Oh, well, not like it matters. I think 3-4 is the first... Puzzle, uh, uh, puzzle, I mean maze castle of this game. Oh yeah, it definitely is. And I forgot which path you're supposed to take though. So I'll, I'll try up here first. I think I already failed. Oh yeah, certainly did. Okay, so we go down. I think he is... No, that didn't work. 
Damn it. Okay then. Ah, oh, figuring out stuff. Okay, so we'll go at the bottom. What if I continue right at the bottom completely? It works. Okay. So for some reason now there's like four different paths or something, and if you don't take that path precisely, you're gonna fail. Uh, which one is it next? I think it's up there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what then? Oh fuck! I, I went too far. Negan! And this is a reason of why Luigi is kind of tricky to control. Let's just save and continue. Alright. Let's try and master this maze level as much as possible. And I already failed because I went up. Yeah, see? I went up. I went up. I tried to correct myself, but because I didn't do it right, it didn't work. So I really have to just follow the exact path that you have to follow, because otherwise it just doesn't work. And this is why the mazes in this game are a little trickier than the original one. I think it's up here. Freaking coins. Stop giving me coins! Alright, what's next? I think it's either up here or on the middle. Okay, it's up here. Alright. Here's Bowser and all his glory! And no, not anymore. Alright, 4 1. This is where the game says, fuck it. And. It ditches the green parano plants for the red one. Now what's special with red parano plants is that if you're next to the pipe, they still come out. If you're over the pipe, uh, they, they, they won't, but yeah, it's sort of tricky to avoid them. Especially the ones that are upside down, and we'll see later, they keep coming out even if you're there. This jump for some reason is tricky to do with Mario if you're not good at jumping on Springboard in this game. Okay, uh, oh. Oh man. I don't like red parano plants. They're painful. And in. In Super Mario World, they're kind of abused as sprite, at sprites and made worse even sometimes. Like, instead of not coming out of the pipe when you're on top, they actually do come out of the pipe. I want to use this custom sprite, and that's not fun at all. I hate these parano plants when they when they exist. Oh, great for two. What, what, what was this level already? Oh yeah, bunch of freaking cannons at the beginning. Great. Anything I can gain at the beginning? Oh, a star. Well, that's nice enough. I'm probably gonna kill myself in some fashion or another. Or maybe it's just a straightforward level with enemies in the way. Just like many other levels in the series. And then Hammer Bro, because why not? Even one that's on the weird position right here. And here is that's a weird ending for a level. There's water here. And you can just jump over anyway, but not like it matters. <coughs> Four tree, um, a big jumps and red springboards. At least they're not the freaking node blocks from Super Mario Bros. 3 because I hate these. They're so painful to maneuver. Uh, it, whoa, yeah, you kind of have to run in this level if you don't want to fail. And by the way, just like the, in the original Super Mario Bros., uh, the platform is going to become smaller once you get into World Five. I think. Well, was it starting from a, another world? I, I'm not sure anymore. And suddenly bullet generator, because why not? Look at how high he can jump when he jumps on a freaking Koopa. Yeah! Almost 
died again. All right, four four. Um, oh yeah, big pit right at the beginning already. So if you just rush and run, you're gonna fall in it. Or you. Oh wow, green fuck. Oh green. I mean big fire bar. Which is a bit tricky to avoid, and I think there's another one coming soon, like here. Uh. Oh yeah, this place. This will be better off if you just wait for the Koopas to fall down and then you just get rid of uh, all of them at once. This is something you don't want to stand up too much, because otherwise you're just going to miss the pass here. And I hope I took the right way. This is not a maze, but still, I hope I take a safe way. And I, wow. Oh yeah, this is point block. Yeah! Yeah, don't go yet. Come on. No fire! Oh! I saw this coming. I was anticipating the result, and that's what happened. I died from the fire. I'm going too fast! Okay, I've survived somehow. Let's just wait for this. Because this went wrong last time, and I'm not gonna do that same mistake. Oh god. Jump over! Yeah! Taking so many risks for no reason! What am I doing? Come on, don't jump yet. Yeah, red parano plant can actually be tricky to avoid. Yeah! I was hoping I would have bounced like that! Oh, I'm glad you didn't jump at the time I jumped, because otherwise I would have been in awful pain. Alright, 5 1. Another snow looking world at the beginning. Upside down red paranoid plants. You can't stop them from coming out, so if you're right under them, they're gonna hit you. This is not good. I'm pretty sure the, uh, uh, when I, uh, when I, from what I remember playing from uh, all the worlds in the original one, I th there wasn't any of these. So now, not only do they introduce a new kind of paranormal plant, they introduce it upside down, which is uh, which makes it act slightly different. No, no, oh yeah, and here's our false end. Instead, it's a wind. They introduce wind in this game. Oh yeah, and this is kind of a pattern of playing gate. The upside down one come uh, c uh, come in and out a lot faster than the normal one, and you can you want to make sure you have your timing right. All right, that worked, I guess. Whoa! Now it's just a straightforward level with nothing. I'm kind of afraid to move forward though. Yeah! And I think this is the real end. No, not yet! My gosh! This game is tricky with its false ending. Okay, now I think this is the real ending. See a big wall of blocks here? You're gonna have to uh, use an invisible coin block. And then some ruid pipe and the end level. The game tries to trick you now, that's not good. Alright, 5-2. This is the second cave of the game. Not the last one this time though. There's another one actually. No, I don't oh god, poison mushroom. I haven't seen those in a while. Hi. I think that's not the second one I uncover. There's gonna be way more later on. I think the warp at the end of this level leads you to world 6, and I don't know if there's any other because I didn't really explore this level in particular. 
I don't know why. There's got to be something in here. No, just a bunch of coins. Who cares about coins? Oh god, there's more. Uh. Oh, that's not a... Whoa. Yeah, we're running at this point is a bit not recommended. Let's just say that. So it's 5-2. What's in 5-3 now? Oh yeah, this level. Okay. I'm gonna show you something right now. You just keep on going with the level normally. Just try and ignore these and then suddenly something will happen which will you will probably not like. Or maybe you will, I don't know. Suddenly the platform disappears. Yeah, it turns on, it's a maze. Well, only this part of the level really is a maze. Basically what you have to do is jump on these two Koopas and climb on the pipe that's on the to uh, on top. Oh wow. Now it's weird bonus game that leads you in a different part of the level. I don't know if there's any midpoint in this level to be honest. I think it was I think it's removed on purpose just to make the level stupid. I'm not sure though. Oh god, it's on the Whoa, it's moving. Now, at least they're, 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 the platforms are not even smaller. Because otherwise that, that that'd be kind of painful. And that's the end. 5-4, do I remember anything from that? Except that it's not a reused castle. Uh, I guess these. And fire bars are going faster now. Whether you like it or not. Some of them will trick you as well. Such as this one. <clears throat> Well, that's not gonna go well. Other than that, I don't remember much about this. Seriously, the only cast, uh, the, the, the castle I do remember the most is probably 8-4 and 7-4. 7-4 is kind of a pain. And I think 6-4 is the other maze of this game. Oh wait, I think there's another castle, uh, a maze castle. I'm not too sure of that. Don't quote me on that. Alright. I'm gonna try and be very careful, because I have one life remaining. Not like it matters. Like, let's take it easy. Yeah! I didn't even notice Poto was here. No! Yeah, when they go in reverse direction, they're a little trickier to avoid because they're coming toward you. Yes! Should have ran faster. I stopped at some point. Don't know why though. So yeah, when you game over, you restart here. 5 4. I'm not sure if there was a mushroom in this block or not. Maybe I should check it out since I actually do have time. And I think I can take the risk, maybe? Maybe not. Just. Oh my gosh, seriously? Get. get <laughs> Is it really worth it? I don't know. I'm trying to take stuff. Not like this level has any midpoint. Oh, here's a mushroom. Is it going to kill me or not? It might actually kill me, because... How do I make this jump now? Whoa, 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 oh god. <sighs> Damn you, Luigi! Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Great. How, how did I forget about that? I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Oh, 
Well, whatever, let's just rush through, not care about the mushroom, because it's actually dangerous to get, and it actually hinders on the path a bit. Ugh. Let's just stay on the right. Okay, what's the rest of the level now? Uh, anything? I don't like where this is going. Um... Do. Maybe I can run! Ooh, that's not... Please jump. Alright, all is fine and well. Except that now, starting from next world, well, it's gonna be Hammer Bowser, and that's not a good thing. Because he's gonna be there shooting hammers at you. Or throwing hammers at you, rather. Oh well. 6 1. Another day world thing. There's a lot of these in this game, actually. I don't know if it makes any difference whatsoever, but anyway. A bunch of hammer brothers everywhere, which I don't like. Uh, and more upside down parano plants, like I needed these. Oh, ouch. Oh yeah, wind gimmicks. Hi there, how's it going? Especially when it involves pla uh, moving platforms. Great. I think I'm gonna um, gonna stop this recording after six four. I'm gonna complete the rest later. Uh, yeah, wind. Uh, at least they show the leaves. They're here. They exist. There is wind. But in other in like a rum hack of Super Mario World, I don't know if it shows it or not. It, I think it depends on whoever does it or something. It's something like the wind is random in those rum hack anyway. So that did this parano plant disappear for no reason? I'm not sure. I think it did. Oh, hey, here's the second underwater level of this game. Some reason they changed. They can't change direction in uh, mid turning or something. And why are these platform here? I guess their only purpose in the autumn water level is to push you down because that's pretty much all they can do. I mean, you can't climb on. The, you can you can climb on them. You're just gonna go down, and that's pretty much it. So they don't help you at all. Oh, that's not good. Especially since there's still gravity pressure thing. And I don't like these. Alrighty, 6 tree with my life's life. Can I make it through this fish stage? Which is not a remake. Apparently not. That's tree game over so far. Uh, two tree game over so far? I don't know. One or the other. Damn it, Luigi. Just damn it, Luigi, you and your sliding abilities. Even in, even in uh, later games, like uh, Super Mario Galaxy, for example, even in Super Mario Galaxy, there's this gimmick where he slides way more than he should. And if you watch like my first couple of videos, you're probably aware of that. Especially since it makes me fail a star and I was supposed to get... Anyway. I was expecting to take a hit here, but okay, that, that worked. 
Also, who built this big pillars with Goombas on top? It can't be Bowser. It, it can't... Also, I mean, why would this these pillars be here, rather? I mean, it's not like Bowser actually... Well, does Bowser care for his minions? I'm not sure. I mean, is he that evil? I mean, probably. Or, I mean, I, I don't know. Why am I trying to look into logic of a video game like Mario? I don't know me. Oh yeah, this is the second maze level, I think. Under? Yeah, okay. I think there's like three paths to take instead of two. And that was not the middle. Fuck. Uh oh, I think I screwed up already. Oh, okay, that worked. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's not down, so I'll go up. Alright, will that work? Not! Okay, so it's not three, uh, three, uh, uh success signs, any, uh, it, it's still two. At least this, this guy is a bit easy to avoid, because he come, he usually starts up there, I think. Okay. Now, what is next? Down here, I'm gonna guess. Yes. Uh, what after that? I think there's... Oh god. If I remember correctly, I think you have to make sure not to... I think you have to keep down if you uh, if you want to make sure to not screw up this. Also, I'm pretty sure you can also reach the ceiling, but that's also going to make you fail and I have to uh, restart this part of the maze. Well, shit. Oh, come on now, that didn't hit. Take it easy with these guys around. Go up! Killed by pixels, great. Oh, I'm getting more game overs than before. I wonder why. Actually, I don't. I'm pretty sure I know why. Because I am not good at Mario games, apparently. Yeesh, I almost jumped into, right into that one. Okay. Down here, first. Okay, what is next already? I think you have to stay down as much as possible, but it's not easy with Luigi. And I'm not sure how that's gonna work with the fire bar in the way. Come on. Jump! Oh, success! Uh, not for long though, because I'm, I'm, I'm going against Hammer Bowser and I'm small. I'm not ready for this! Yee! At least he jumped this time. Thank you! Alright, so now, now that we're in 7-1, I'm going to stop the recording here. I'll be back a bit later. Might as well just like upload all of these and yeah, free some space from my computer, so be back later.